All right, guys, here I am with my shitty Samsung TV. Well, I won't say Samsung TVs are shitty, but this one in particular was kind of hard to control. I would say that's more so my hotel's fault than Samsung. This here is a little crappy remote control that you'll see at a lot of different uh, hotels. And uh, it doesn't really have an input button on it that will allow you to change the source or input source for your TV, say you want to play a PlayStation, Xbox, control, take and uh, connect your computer or Fire TV or Apple TV or whatever entertainment source you might have to it so that you can, you know, improve the quality of your entertainment. So let's turn it on. And as you'll notice, this being a cable channel, <laughs> it doesn't actually work even though it does say on the cable TV menu that it's a channel that's provided to me. I won't say the name of my, uh, my lovely hotel for fear of having my YouTube video taken down. Regardless, you may not be able to see this so well, but there really are no controls on this TV. Not on the front, not on the back, not on the sides. The only Initially apparent things would be the HDMI ports that are, well, open. There's no box like there are on some of the other YouTube videos. And there's no data cable aside from this coaxial cable that's connected, which, uh, as far as I know, doesn't have the ability to prevent the TV from, um, well, prevent you from controlling the input source for your TV. But there is this little thing that on initial inspection looked like it was just a screw from standing high above as I am and then look at it at it here you can see that it looks like there's some symbols there up down plus and minus now that is a little joystick uh, where you at there you are so it's a little joystick that goes up down left right and presses in similarly to uh, well, a joystick on your PlayStation remote or Xbox, what have you. So left and right, turn the volume up and down. Up and down, change the channel. And by pressing in, it brings up this little menu. Oh yes, menus. Yes, control. Look at that, that's the input. You press, you click on that one by pressing the joystick in. And then I chose this, which you may not show this initially. You have to know which HDMI port you're on or AV, uh, RCA, whatever it is. My uh, PlayStation has been turned on, so it has already connected and identified the device. So I click on that, and you heard the PlayStation beep there. As the PlayStation turns on, it connects, and, well, it may take a moment, but there you have it. PlayStation's on. Of course, it's not connected to the internet, but that's okay. Um, my name is Tenicio Bel Del Boro, like Benicio Del Toro, spelled with a switch at the beginning and last, uh, well, beginning letters of each name. Uh, so if you guys want to connect with me, feel free. Hopefully this helped you. If it didn't help you, you may want to look up this guy unlock TV inputs for uh, channel 88 there's another guy Daniel or David something or other he used to be over here but uh, I guess when I refreshed the page it disappeared um, they describe different methods this guy says that you can control the TV by using the uh, controls on the bezel here once you've pulled a little cable out of the back and then Daniel said something about some kind of box on the back that prevents you from accessing the HDMI ports, something like that. So yeah, these guys should help you get to where you need to be if it's not like mine. Um, hopefully, uh, you will have as much success in accessing your provided uh, expensive entertainment source, such as myself. Good luck, guys, gals. Uh, gender fluid, whoever you may be.